Hey there friends, how's it going? My name is Kevin and today we're playing The Sims 4. So as usual, when there's a new baby in the house, I am out of there. And Jim Pickens has his eye on a new family in town. One where he looks relatively similar to the old man in the family, since he has a gold digger wife and a totally normal son. This might be a good opportunity, so let's get going. Okay, strangely enough, he's just happening to walk on by my house, so I guess <laughs> I'll introduce myself. I guess there's not many neighbors left, really. A lot of them have, uh, perished. <clears throat> I mean, they don't look exactly alike, but I reckon he could pass. Oh, they're getting on so well. How nice. All right, come inside my shed for a bit. Oh, he's wise. He's leaving. All right, I've invited him to hang out at my graveyard. I'm gonna build a little private shed here somewhere. Just think of it as an investment more than anything. Already looking eerie. This is a great start. Alright, I probably spent too long on that, but here is the little... I, I don't know what to call it. Hobby room man cave, I guess. So we've got quite a lot of clutter. We've got a lot of pipes and such. We've got the, the cremation device here with lots of little tools and a, a really uh, distasteful exit sign above it, to be honest. Oh, he is eager. <laughs> Holy crap, he's burning him fast. Jesus. We didn't even use the cremation system. Alright, let's just light it up. He's like, oh, well, this one's a cremation. Better get the, the machines lit up. He's got a little crappy gas lighter. This poor guy, he just got to this neighborhood. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's warming himself. I think with the fire and this man burning alive, it might be warm enough in that room. But you know what? You work away. You be you, Jim. You warm yourself. Oh, it stinks, does it? Oh, he he stinky, stinky burnt man. Why did he get scared when death came in? You're friends with death. I don't think there's enough room this side. God damn it. Now I can't get out and talk to death, so we just gotta stand here awkwardly. Why don't I have more plots? Why did I just do the right amount for what was there? I should have been prepared to kill more. There, now we're future-proofing the place. We got some plots ready to be used. All right, now time to go invade their family. It's disguised as him. What's that rock music for? All right, doesn't matter. Maybe it was the Sims just being like, well done, you killed the Sim. Good job. All right, that totally pulls it off, except he is so much bigger than that other guy. <laughs> Wait, I can invite him? I thought he was dead, but okay, yeah, invite him. See, see what happens. What the fuck? He's right there. He still smells. <laughs> At least even he's aware of it this time. <laughs> Alright, we gotta get passionate about this killing because clearly I just phoned it in last time. <laughs> Wait, how'd you get out of the basement? Someone from my cult got out. He's running away. I didn't have anything to do with this. Oh no, what happened here? I just, I just turned up. Oh no, he's not really playing it off. Uh-oh, his family's here. Stop laughing, stop laughing. There's nothing to cancel. It's just in his nature. Hey, I hope this isn't a bad time for a flirty introduction. Stop getting angry. Her husband just died. Oh, you made her cry even more. Uh, I know we're all mourning over this guy, but uh, uh, I can't really explain. I just kind of need this. All right, thanks. It's just my, my business. I run a graveyard. It's normal. Anyway, I gotta go. Hey, it's me, your husband. I didn't actually die. I'm- I'm fine. Hey, honey. It's- yeah, she's not falling for it. Oh, it's already almost Grimey's birthday. I forgot I called it fucking Grimey. Wait, is it a she? I can't remember. All I know is their name is Grimey. Hello, son. <laughs> It is me, your dad. Wait, introduction, they haven't met each other. <laughs> he just walks in on this guy dressed exactly like his dad who died the same day and is eating at their dinner table. <laughs> Maybe he won't notice. Maybe he'll think it was like a bad dream. And during that dream, I put on a load of... How did you get in here, BJ? How the fuck did... How did he get... All right, you know what? I'm just going to accept it. Like father, like son, after all. <laughs> He's also introducing us. Oh my god, there's someone from the cult outside. No, 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 don't, don't come in. Guys, you're kind of blowing my whole thing here. <laughs> How did this happen? Jim has discovered that Human Racket is an alien. Yeah, I mean, he looks totally normal, but his name is Human, right? So that might give it away. Stop being sad, you basically got an upgrade. Come on. He is the exact same as the old model, only thick as hell. And that's thick. With like three C's. 
Jeez, I don't think I've seen anyone get their style cramped as much as this. Like, his, half his family showed up. Well, to be more exact, his son and one of his prisoners showed up. Oh god, now a ghost is here. Who even are you? I didn't kill you. Where'd you come from? I don't know, maybe I did kill her. I've kind of lost track. Wait, BJ found some food in this trash can. It still seems edible-ish. What are you doing? Like... You know what, I'm going home. Now Murphy's here, perfect. The whole family is coming on by. You know what, I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna let you grieve. Uh, mainly because you're not taking me up on my flirting. And I'll be back some other time without half the household. You know, if you think about it one way, Jim is kind of like a ghostbuster. Because, like, he comes in, he- yeah, sure, he does the killing, but then he takes the grave away so that they don't get haunted. People should be paying for this service. Jesus, what's wrong with you? You're angry because you're in the real world, you know. I've been protecting you all this time. Grimy, aged up. Independent. They gain extra skill when they are left alone and need less attention. Perfect. Yeah, independent. Thank you. Oh, what the hell? Get out of my kid! What the f- What the fuck are you doing? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Is this so hard to ask just to not- You know what, I'm not even gonna go there. Alright, they're trapped now. Good. Have fun growing up, kids. See you in, like, seven episodes. <laughs> it's like a music video. They're just on the opposite side of the wall and sleeping split down the middle. Death in his, in his suit. <laughs> what, what are you up to, death? Troll the forums. No, you know what? You're the bringer of death. You have better things to be doing. I reckon this is the last time Jim's gonna have to infiltrate a family because death's gonna be moving up in the career world and uh, then he'll take care of the family. It looks so strange when he floats around like that without his uh, normal cloak. What? What are you doing? You have one job. Literally all you have to do is sleep, use the toilet and care for my child and you can't even do that. Look at your mood. How can you be that bad at taking care of yourself? Yeah, adopt as caregiver. I don't even know what that means, but just just care for me. Why are you going to cook scrambled eggs when I just told you care for the baby? Give her freaking chicken nuggets. It's her first meal. You can live on chicken nuggets. That's a scientific fact. You know what? I'm gonna invite her over here. That's what I'll do. Wait. No. No, it can't be. He, he cannot still be alive, can he? Wait, wait. What the f- How are you doing this? What are- how did you do? How how did you do this? Console about death, I guess, even though he seems to be up and kicking. Okay, let's go kill her husband again then. See what you made me do? You don't understand. I am you. <laughs> Look at them getting so angry at each other. They're like sizing each other up. The difference is I can do this. Yeah, that's right. I just drowned you in your own pee. Get over it. That's like, oh, now I have to clean this up. I was busy. Ask her about day. Like, so, what you been up to? After her husband just died for the third time? She's only now realizing Grimy is an alien. The disguise seemed perfect. Okay, I'm not sure what disguise you're referring to. Like, look at them. How could you not be aware of this? Are you that disconnected from the real world? Death, she does not want to talk to you right now. And it's kind of understandable that she doesn't. Uh, Death. I- I know what you're doing right now, but I'm involved with another Grim Reaper at the moment. And that's not impressing me. Nice form though. Wait, I probably shouldn't be flirting with her in front of death, I just realized that. I mean, he won't understand it's all part of the plan. Emma is single. Okay, well, at least there's that. Her marriage is broken up because of the guy dying, I guess, technically. She's feeling flirty. Okay, um, death, you just- You just- Oh shit, I was gonna say, can you take care of your mood, but he, he never gets down or anything. Um, you go, go introduce yourself or something. It's kind of weird when the Grim Reaper would be the more likable of the family. <laughs> it's almost Pearl's time, make the most of these final days. Nothing's gonna change, I'll tell you that much. They're both very flirty. Go, oh my god, look at that jump! Alright, go woohoo in the spaceship. No, death, stay away! Uh, just... Water the plants or something. Look, get mail. Oh god, there's nothing to do at all. Uh, sit on this bench. Wait, what? Where'd she go? Alright, well, she's still alive by the looks of it, so that'll do. I'll go see her in the morning, I guess. What are you doing in there? Making the most of your final days, I see. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Oh my god, is he still alive? Is he actually still alive? I think I'll just have to get him as a prisoner or something, because he's unkillable. Nice. You're showing my, my child horror movies when they're like two. Appreciate that. 
I guess the weird thing here is that your real life is more of a horror than any horror movie you could watch. Oh, that's sweet. Look at that. See, love does still exist. He immediately tries to get the smell of death off his breath. <laughs> Alright, let's go out into that big bad world and see what everyone's up to. He's still freaking alive. Okay, you know, no, it's fine. I'll just, I'll just go over there and see what happens. <laughs> Don't laugh at her, dude. Her husband just died. Okay, she doesn't mind. I think he just introduced himself to her son. And now they're talking about woohooing right behind him. That lip quiver is telling me something. Turn around time for a dead husband to... Dating Jim is two days. Two days. Hey, can I move in yet? <laughs> Ask to move in. There you go. There you go. Yes, she's totally okay with this. Come on, come out of the disguise. I want to see the real you. Oh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Why would you ever hide this masterpiece? So he's an illegal alien in two ways. <laughs> Do you get it? All right, fine. Now to the next scene. I'm glad they seem to have cheered up, though. Shame something always has to happen to ruin the moment, am I right? Well, I gotta get the money somehow, bud. Yeah, sorry it had to be in such a cartoony fashion up front of you like that. He just walks away like, fuck it, I'm done. You know what, I think I might invite this guy to my house and be- What, what the hell just happened to his hand? Uh, anyway, I, I think I might invite this guy to my house and just let him be one of my- my my prisoners in the basement because I, I am running low and I kind of like his style. You know what? I'm gonna try and cheer him up. All right, buddy. I know you're glum, but get a load of this, huh? Yeah, that cheers you up. All right, I'll just take that. Don't worry, buddy. You're gonna be just fine. Oh, okay. I, I went too far. Look, what I'm trying to say here is, will you be my prisoner? Okay, this is getting awkward. Time to go home. Oh, what are you doing, man? You just got home. Stop it. No, stop! I actually earned way too much from that, so I transferred a lot of it to the, the graveyard so that we can use it to build up that a bit. Alright, you're here. Welcome. You're right to be nervous, trust me. I think Murphy deserves this room because she's been doing very well recently and she's been taking care of the kid. Oh my god, now you're just haunting me. <laughs> yeah, don't come here again, buddy. What's wrong? Why are you crying? What is upsetting about this situation? Okay, I get it. Your dad died four times, your mom died once, and you're stuck in this hellhole, but... Don't cry about it. Also, mopping up this area won't work. Both the toilet and shower and the sink actually are broken, so... That water's just gonna keep coming. But hey, if you want to just keep busy while you're down here, you, you go for it, man. More power to you. I have three graves in my inventory and I'm about to add a fourth. I'm pretty sure three of them are the same guy. Along with the one that's already over there. Good thing I made those plots. It's like I kind of foretold what would happen. It's kind of weird. You know what this situation reminds me of? Kenny in South Park. He just keeps dying and coming back and no one seems to take any notice. My god, they killed Dennis! That bastard! <laughs> Hanging out with two Grim Reapers in here. What? Emma Racket, do you want to go out on a date? What the feck? What is going on here? This whole family is cursed. I messed with the wrong people. Wait, how are you so filthy? She just gave you a bath. Oh man, kids are complicated. Can you not? That's not what I got that for. Great, you're pissing yourself in front of my child. Away the potty trainer. Come on. Dude! This is so stressful. How could I ever have kids in real life when I can't even take care of one on the frickin' Sims? Okay, that was interesting. You know what, I don't care anymore, you can stink. I, it's just too much trouble. Alright, well I guess I'll end that episode there. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, the next episode, we're gonna marry the Grim Reaper and Jim. And as, as I said last time, I didn't get around to it this time because I had money problems. They're, they're gonna have a freaking massive wedding, so that's gonna need a lot of money. And uh, yeah, I'm thinking kind of a red wedding style kind of shindig, so should be interesting. But yeah, most of the guests are gonna die. Anyway, uh, so I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do leave a like. If you haven't already, click subscribe. I would hugely appreciate it. And other than that, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.